I've always been concerned to make sure that it seemed a little strange to me that women shouldn't get the same health coverage and the same care and things that, that men do. And it always seemed that it was important to, to work in those kind of areas. So I guess for a long time I, w I just would make, I would make my uh, point known by trying to share how I thought it was important that women should be able to make decisions and were very capable of. And then several years back when I began to get involved with the group here, Faith Aloud, um, United Methodist Women person came up and asked me if I would represent the United Methodist Women on the board at Faith Aloud and got more active and uh, part of that, uh, but would be active in those kind of ways. I believe that God looks at each and every human on the earth and loves all of us the same. And therefore for me, when anyone, whoever it is, is not treated equally and is not given an opportunity to think and make decisions on their own, then I think we've diminished them from what God has created them to be. And so for me, it just seems that there should be no reason why anyone, women or race or anything, should be something that somehow makes a person less. And so that's my understanding theologically why I think this is important to do and uh, to lift up and be supportive here. Got information in the mail about all option counseling and decided it would be a good thing to go take and work with so that as individuals came in uh, to my office or encountered that I could be prepared to hopefully respond in a way that didn't scare them away or anything but really helped them begin to think about what that issue is that was in front of them, how they would handle it, how they could get support, what kind of directions did they really have so they wouldn't feel left out, just stuck out there by themselves and otherwise hearing from everybody, especially other clergy, how bad and terrible they were because something had happened that wasn't planned. Just here recently I got a call uh, and called the, the woman back and she was very timid and, and shy, wasn't sure what she was going to do, didn't feel she had any support, uh, anything of that kind. So we talked a while, tried to help her re reassure her that God didn't hate her because of whatever had occurred or whatever she was thinking about options. Then asked if I could call again just to kind of follow up. And she was very quick to say, oh yes, uh, please. And then so I did, and then she called back. And she, second time she called, she talked about all kinds of other things. And then finally I just kind of was there and silent for a while and said, finally said, what else is it that you're really wanting to find out about or need help with? And that's when she told me she needed some more information and support about different options she might be able to, to use and to do. And I think giving individuals that opportunity to just talk and then finally say, okay, I know there's something else here and uh, can you help me know what that is more specifically? And then to be able to feel that in that process there's been some trust built and some and you're giving the people some hope and something to say that there's somebody around who's not fussing at me and complaining all the time. I think that's very important. As we've been instructed as we go over as clergy that we would either wear a collar so people would know we're uh, clergy or a stole or something. And uh, the language and names that's called, that you're called, uh, you don't have to say a word to anybody as you walk up there and they're standing all around the outside. If you're walking towards the door or you're standing out there, the names you're called, the names you hear them calling other people. I know the first time I, I did that I couldn't hardly believe that people would be that, express that much anger and bitterness and almost a feeling of hatred at times. Uh, with that going on. 
But then I know one day several of us were standing there and several of us were in a conversation because we just, we stand there to help deflect, not and you know do anything else and not so much to talk to the people coming in but so that the people who are otherwise protesting have somebody to holler at other than the patients coming in and was standing there one day talking to a couple others and this woman comes up and gives me a big hug around the neck and says thank you for being here just out of the clear blue without you know and you begin to say yes that kind of presence of simply being there to where people know there are people who support, not that you talk to them or not that you do anything else. Just that physical presence means a great, great deal. And uh, that day I found out just how much. <laughs>